Hello everyone, my name is Jana Grasho and today with CEFIC we are bringing Voices of the Industry to Wesseling, Germany, where we will be focusing on a key topic of the transition, circularity. In November 2024, the world met in Baku, Azerbaijan to advance the implementation of the Paris Agreement. Later that same month, they met in Busan, South Korea to tackle plastics pollution. In order to meet these key societal challenges, products made from alternative sources like plastic waste will be crucial. This is where initiatives like Lion del Bazel's Moratech project can play a role. Join me as we find out more about that. Hello, Stefan. It's so nice to meet you. Thank you for having us here. Hello, Jana. Hi. A warm welcome here to Wesseling at our site. So appreciate that you are here. Thank you so much. Before we get into anything, can you tell us a little bit about yourself first? Yeah, actually, I'm the site manager here in Wesseling Knapsack. I have about 30 years of experience in the chemical industry and all the time in manufacturing, so operation, maintenance. And now you are here in Wesseling, which is a, is a petrochemical site, which produce polyethylene and polypropylene, so polyolefins for the future. And also important is at the site where the MORTEC technology will be built as a project. Okay, so it's cold outside, let's go to a warmer place. Maybe we go to the control room. Great. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Tell us a little bit more about the Moratech projects. So Jana, happy to share this information with you. Moratech is an important investment for our circular and low carbon solution business, which we Line del Basel built up. And the special thing on Moratech is advanced recycling, which can process plastic waste, which cannot be treated with mechanical recycling or other uh, sorts of recycling but uh, with plastic waste, which normally ends up in landfill or incineration plants. The plant, which uh, is built here or intended to start up in 2026, has a um, capacity of about 50,000 tons per year. And this is equal to about uh, 1.2 million citizens, German citizens here in the, in the neighborhood uh, for their plastic waste. How does this technology work? So everything starts with uh, collecting and sorting the plastic waste. This plastic waste is difficult to recycle material like flexibles, like food packaging. Potato chips bags is a good example for this. And this will arrive here in the, in the Mortec plant, where we have our property technology with our own development of, of catalyst. And out of the Mortec plant comes pyrolysis oil and pie gas. What would you say is unique about the Moratech project? The Moratech technology has a lot of unique things, but I want to mention two of them. One is the high yield of a process. The yield is about 80%. So 100% you put in, the output of a plant is 80% of pyrolose oil or pie gas, which can be useful products for further processing. So that's very unique. Of course, the final yield is depending also on the quality of the waste, plastic waste you are putting into the process. That's really interesting. And how does the project contribute to the transition of the chemical sector? This is an important part of this transition to go to a circular economy and net zero uh, industry because uh, you replace fossil-based fuels for the polyolefin production with uh, recycled material. So this is already proven in our pilot plant in Ferrara in Italy. So we are confident uh, that, that it will work. And um, the advantage of this process is that it's completely electrical heating. So you can even use uh, renewable electricity to drive a process. And you do it with a quite low process temperature which makes the process also even more effective. This is a very innovative project. Is there something else about it that you'd like to share? Of course, uh, because you must know that uh, innovations is in the DNA of our company. In the foundation phase, there were two Nobel Prize winners uh, working on catalyst development. This already shows uh, in the innovative power in, in our company. The second thing I'd like to share is also that we are very proud to have um, granted from the European Commission Innovation Fund 40 million for this project, 
This also shows the importance and the view on this project for the European Union. And last but not least, depending on the development of this project, if there's a business case, there are already further more tech plannings uh, in the pipeline. We know that a project like Moretech doesn't just come up overnight. What did it take to get you where you are now? Yeah, you are totally right. It's a long process. So for this uh, technology, it started already in 2018. And it was really a multi-site approach. It was the power of many inside the company because there were research and development departments involved in Frankfurt and in Ferrara. Then the process design is done in Mumbai. And also the project management is done in Rotterdam and Houston. So there are a lot of people and a lot of organizations included. In 2020, we started up our pilot plant in Ferrara as an intermediate milestone. So this was also very important to, to collect experiences. And then in 2023 was the final investment decision to launch this project uh, for to, to build this Mortec plant here in Wesseling. We know that the current economic climate is not very favorable to the chemical industry. How has this impacted your projects? You are right, but despite the economic situation in Europe, we as Lion del Basel will progress on the advancing circularity and also net zero or uh, emission reduction. That's important for our company. And we see also that this is value generating for the society, for our customers, for all the stakeholders. So it will be an important part of our strategy. What should Europe do if they're serious about competitiveness? So if Europe is serious about industry and competitiveness, we have to create demand. And for this, it's important to have targets for recycled material and also incentives. So implementing a project like this must have impacted your workforce. Can you tell me about the evolution of that? The big advantage is because we develop this process, we have expertise in-house. And secondly, we, this MoTeC plant will create new jobs also. And we are very happy to have in this training center here about 200 apprenticeships uh, educating as operators. Stefan, thank you so much for having us here today and for teaching us more about MoraTech. Yeah, thank you having you here and have a good way back. Bye. Thank you for watching and for joining us in Wesseling, Germany, where we learn more about Lion del Basel's Moratech project. Stay tuned for more.